Hello, it's Nui, and for today's video, I'm going to try the cash stuffing or sinking fund stuffing, however you want to call it. But this is actually my first time doing it, and this is my setup. I have here my phone, I have the cash binder that I got from Shopee. This is personalized, so if you are interested, I will leave the link below. You can check it out, and lastly, I have here the mercury drug planner. So we have here different kinds of pens and stickers and some washi tapes. So if you guys don't know what cash stuffing is, it's basically just using this binder right here and then maraming ziplock bags inside and then yun, gagamitin mo yung fun small for each different bags that you have here. So here is my uh, savings tracker for the month of September and basically magreflect lang ako dito sa expenses ko and ilalagay ko dito sa cash binder yung budget ko for that specific fund. So today is September 28th and that is the date that I'm going to write here. And meron ako dito na SSS for myself. And then, meron din ako dito SSS for daddy. So, yan na yung nilagay ko. Ito, yan. SSS fonts na dalawa. So, dito ko lalagay sa akin yung uh, yellow na font color. And then, dito sa black font color is yung kay daddy. So, so yung akin, 1,235. So, dito siya. 1,000... 135. So, may mga, so, may mga change din pala ako dito. So, mayiging useful siya later on. Kailangan so, ko pa ng 10 pesos and 5. Here you go. So, this is 1,235. Then SSS for Daddy, we have two six. Two thousand. Actually, onti lang yung smaller bills ko dito. So, tignan natin kung magkakasya lahat. Tapos, we need 600 pesos. O hindi siya magkasya. So we're done with the SSS funds. Next one would be the health insurance. And yes, left handed ako kaya medyo mahirap magsulat. But anyway, we have here health insurance for my mom 1530. So dito siya ulit sa black. Akin yung yellow font color. So, we have here 1530. Actually, hindi siya kasha, guys. Oh, kulang pa tayo na. So, lagyan na natin ng 2000 instead of 530. So, 2000. This one, I have here 15. So, lagyan lang muna natin siya ng 1,000. Kailangan ko ng smaller bills later on. So, inunote ko lang din yun. Or, pwedeng dito ko na siya inote sa uh, journal ko. So, dito nalagay ko ay 2K. And then, for me is... 1K. And then, para mas mabilis and maayos, masuunahin ko na lang yung mga sakto dito, like yung 1,000 or kung may 2,000 dito. So, meron dito isa 1,000 for life insurance. So, napin natin siya dito. This one is 1,000. And then, meron din for 
dentist, birthdays, YouTube needs, and education. And actually, meron din sa health funds. So, five funds yung kailangan ng 1K. Yun na lang muna yung kuunahin ko. And then lastly is yung health funds. So, that's a health insurance. Tapos na sa SSS. And then life insurance. Tapos na rin. So, yung isa pang kailangan ko is for uh, pag ibig regular savings. This one. Ito ay 200. So, ito yun. 200 for Pag-ibig Savings Fund. And then, ilagay ulit natin siya dito sa Budget Tracker. So, tingnan ko lang ulit kung ano pa yung walang fund or wala pang laman dito. Ito, personal needs. So, personal needs kailangan ng 2,136. Ayan, parang sakto siya. Okay. And so, 2,000, 10, 6, 8, 10, 1, 100, 36. Huwag tayo ng 10, 6. So, ayan, sakto naman pala siya. So, 2,136 para sa personal funds. So, ang kulang at ang sobra ko na lang dito ay for health insurance ni mommy and health insurance ko kasi wala akong mga smaller bills. So, just to let you guys know, I think it is still advisable and for me personally, naglalaan pa rin ako most of my profits income sa Banko and much better kung sa high interest bank kayo mag-save like ING, uh, CIM Bank or yung G-Save, Paymaya, Gcash, mga traditional banks like Union Bank or BPI. So, meron pa rin akong mga accounts dun sa iba't ibang banks na yun but I did this one cash stuffing kasi I think it's easier for me kung maglalaan ng specific funds for each sectors na meron ako. Like, for example, gagamitin ko rin naman to sa health insurance after a year. And then, meron sa SSS funds after a year. Same with pag-ibig funds after a year yan. And then, kapag may mga kailangan ako for my YouTube or uh, mga education courses, na kailangan kong i-enroll and then for monthly dentist na visit so kailangan ko rin naman tong gastusin and then for birthdays of course yearly yan so at least I know that I already have saved for that specific fund and that's the purpose of today's video but thank you so much for watching this one if you like this video give it a thumbs up i would really recommend for you guys to try this one and thank you so much mommy and charo kasi sa kanya ko nakita tong video na to and she really inspired me to do the same thing so thank you for watching the video and like shake yung video because of shiro Nakaisip ako ng idea na isip ko pala sa birthdays. Meron akong dalawang 500 doon. So, inilipat ko siya dito sa health insurance. So, 1,500 na to sakto. And then, dito ay 1,530. So, 500 na to. Dagdag ka ng um, 30 pesos. So, kulang pa tayo ng piso dito para maging 1,002 or 1,530. So, kapag may piso kayo, i-gcash nyo sa akin. Thank you.